All right, a little more in-depth overview of what the 250 grain Hornady A tip did. I do still need to get back out to the range and chronograph my lower velocities as I was running out of light this evening. My chronograph wasn't reading and I kind of rushed through this a little too fast. Um, had a little brain fart too, didn't pull my first bullet out of the gel before I flipped my box and shot him with the high velocity load which sent that sailing. But we'll go over what results I have here thus far and I will add to the description later what the muzzle velocity was on that uh, reduced load. My high end loads out of my 300 PRC average 2,770 feet per second, almost exact, it's 2,770.2 on the last string I ran on those and my load development on it and then I went to terminal performance to see will these make a decent hunting load and I'm more than impressed with these results um, so similar to the burger bullets that I've tested it's crazy so let's start on the left hand side here with that reduced load where you have two and a half inches of penetration before that really starts to open up and this is one of the aluminum tips here then you have the majority of the jacket and that bullet if you watch my other video rested um, real close to 30 inches of total penetration and that really good portion of that wound channel is running from the 3 inch mark past the 12 inch mark tapers down what you're seeing in here clear up to about that 19 inch mark that's all still from that first shot so at the lower velocity it did an excellent excellent job um, I was afraid of grotesque over fragmentation on the high end loads but when you're running a, a bullet with this highest sectional density it doesn't overly surprise me it did as well as it did um, because the block went flying and there's additional tears in here we'll go over what the bullet actually did and at that high velocity you actually have seven eighths of an inch before that bullet opened up and started that massive hemorrhaging and then um, I didn't take the time to really look at it close enough in the range I thought the bullet followed a similar track it didn't it actually veered down right about here and there was a hole through the particle board and through my table that hunk of lead maintained enough energy to where if it would have went straight I would have expected it several inches into the second block so I will be redoing these tests putting a piece of leather over a piece of particle board and just setting it in front to see um, how the bullets hold up as if you hit directly in the kind of simulate hitting bone but that is I mean, you got tears all the way through the top of your block and I hit a little lower than what I've cared to have but just thoroughly impressed with what that bullet did terminally literally um, the only thing I've seen make this decent of a wound channel is the burgers anybody that watches my videos knows I don't overly care for the burgers because um, they destroy a ton of meat but they do do an excellent drop drop on game and I'm thinking uh, Hornady A tips might be right there with extreme similar performances as burger bullets I mean that massive portion of the wound channel goes 11 inches in 
and before that bullet veers down going out the table you're carrying wound channel to almost the 14 inch mark and then it had enough energy to go through that particle board and through one of these tables <clears throat> so I'd have to say I'm more than impressed you got you know lead fragments carried out you know a bullet like this is not going to hold together it wasn't intended to hold together it's a match grade bullet there are people that say you should never use match grade bullets for hunting and then there's those that use them and absolutely love them um, Burger's whole line of everything is match grade bullets they did take and make a hunting line with a slightly thinner jacket so you got more reliable performance so there's nothing wrong with match grade bullets as long as you know you're going to get this kind of terminal performance you're going to get the penetrations needed you're not going to over fragment and not penetrate so hopefully here in the near future i do have some of the 135 grain 6.5s on order to do a test like this which i plan on testing that both in straight gel and then um using something to simulate some hide and bone just to see how they hold up let me pull this aluminum tip out of here just because and as you would expect that little aluminum tip is perfect and I kind of theorized beforehand that th that tip would cause these bullets to get that length of penetration before they opened up similar to a burger bullet and you can definitely see it here and what portion is actually part of the channel not what hit the ground and broke this you have almost that inch so I'm thinking uh, in Hornady's pursuit of the best target bullet they may have stumbled across an extremely viable hunting bullet. We'll see as I do more testing and more different calibers.